Yo, what's up, YouTube? Back with another today. We are going to be reacting to the week one NFL schedule. So, I'm going to say this once, and you're probably going to agree. This schedule does not disappoint. Has a ton of great games week one that, you know, any of these games are worth watching. I think that's true. And, you know, some of these games are actually insane. So, the first game that many people predicted even months ago was, you know, as you know, the Super Bowl winner usually gets to play the first game of the season, which would be Tampa Bay. Many were speculating that he'd be playing the Cowboys. And there you go. They'd be playing them on Thursday Night Football. Um, I know, like, people are saying this is a good game. I don't see it. I think the Cowboys are really bad, overrated. It's going to be an easy win for the Buccaneers, too. So it is what it is. But you look at the rest of the schedule, and you're going to be seeing a lot of good games. So I'm a Steelers fan. I don't know why, but I had a dream last night that I actually got the Steelers first week, their, their schedule or something, their first game of the season. It was against like the Titans. And I was, you know, kind of mad, but I was hoping for anything except the Chiefs or the Bills. And there it is. The Steelers are going to be playing at the Bills week one. This is definitely going to be a good game. The Bills are in the AFC Championship game. The Steelers were in the wild card 13-3 versus 12-4 last season. And, you know, the Bills have not lost to the Steelers in a decent amount of time. So, one thing about the Steelers is, you know, they haven't had a home opener in eight years. So, this kind of makes me upset, but it is what it is. So I expect the Bills, you know, to have a decent day, probably win. We also got Minnesota Vikings at Bengals. You know, horrible games, but who cares? Uh, I think the Vikings probably should win that. And then you got the Jaguars at the Texans. Both these teams were bottom tier teams last season. You know, really bad, really, really bad. Sean Watson, I don't even know if he's going to play a single game next year. So this actually could be a win for the Jaguars, but we'll see. Um, we also got a pretty good game here. Cardinals at Titans. You know, the Titans were a playoff team last year, and the Cardinals were almost a playoff team. Cardinals, they got better in the offseason. Titans debatably got worse. We're going to have to see what happens. These teams are evenly matched, in my opinion. And I think this could be a really, really good game. And then you have... A divisional round rematch in the AFC playoffs of last year. The Browns at the Chiefs. So, you know, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the Browns won. I think they might. Only because the Chiefs offensive line was so beat up in the Super Bowl. That the momentum, the bad momentum might carry out through week one. Wouldn't be surprised if the Browns upset. And the next game. Packers at Saints. So this is a unique game. I thought this was pretty unique to put week one because the common trait between these two teams is that their quarterbacks are going to be different. Last year, I don't know if Taysom Hill started. I think Drew Brees did. And of course, Aaron Rodgers was playing. But Aaron Rodgers is 5% chance he returns to Green Bay and Drew Brees has retired. So two great teams last season. And their quarterbacks are gone. So it's going to be an interesting game to watch. And then we have, you know, more 1 o'clock games. I should have done these before the 4 o'clock. Eagles at Falcons. Two really bad teams last year. I think they both had four wins combined or four wins each. So two pretty bad teams. Uh, it is what it is. And then we have the Jets at the Panthers. This is a unique game to put week one. Because as you know, Sam Darnold was traded to the Panthers. And he's going to be playing his former team. So, this is a pretty unique, unique week one matchup. Surprised the NFL did them like that. We also have the 49ers at the Lions. You know, I think the Lions are going to be the worst team in the league next year. So, it might be a motivational and a boost for the 49ers week one to get this win. And maybe you know, push to the playoffs. And then another really good game, Seahawks at Colts. You know, this game's going to be really good. Seahawks and Colts were both playoff teams last year, 
had pretty similar records. I think Seahawks went 12 and 4, Colts went 11 and 5 or something like that. Scoot's gonna be good. You know, Carson Wentz is gonna be making his Colts debut. I think he's gonna have an MVP season again. And I could take any team in this game. It's gonna be a good one. You know, and then we have the next game. We have the Chargers at the Washington football team. I texted Mike. He said that this game is gonna be one of his favorites for some reason. I don't know why. Both these teams went seven and nine last season. It debuts Chase Young. And of course, Justin Herbert, two draft picks in the first round last year that were, you know, offensive rookie of the year and defensive rookie of the year. So it's an interesting matchup. It's going to be an interesting game to watch and any team could win it. We also have, you know, the Dolphins at the Patriots. Way to start the season off. Pretty sure these teams played each other week one last year. They always play each other in the beginning and end of the year so. That that's that's it. We also have the Giants and the Broncos. Interesting game, not really. And then this is where it gets. This is where I think it gets in- interesting. They have the Bears at the Rams on Sunday Night Football. I don't understand why they would do this to the Bears because you know if you want to have a good matchup like this, put it later in the season, especially if you think Justin Fields is going to be a good QB. I think this game's like a good week 15 matchup. It might have strong playoff implications. Putting it week one makes no sense. And Justin Fields is definitely not going to win this game as a rookie if he starts. The Los Angeles Rams are just too good. So yeah, there it is. And we also have a pretty interesting Monday Night Football game. You know, we got the Baltimore Ravens at the Las Vegas Raiders. Pretty interesting enough. You know, the Raiders... They're like the team that everyone expects to make the playoffs but never do for some reason. And then the Ravens, you know, they're really good. It's going to be an interesting one. So, comment down your reaction to this schedule, week one schedule. I'm interested to see the rest of the schedule throughout today. That is it. Adios.